Hey y'all, what's going on? Welcome to another episode of Infinite Lock. It's your boy Erica. Today we have another um, subunit reaction of Twice. Actually, I think this is my first time watching a subunit of Twice. Um, we have Misa Mo, um, Momo, Mina, and um, Asana. We have the J line of Twice. You know, the Japanese members. Um, I'm expecting this to be very uh, grown, classy, elegant, aesthetic. Um, that's definitely what I'm expecting. You know, kind of like a counterpart to like an alcohol free or something like that. Even at the beginning, we can see that it looks very, um, I don't know, it just, it looks very suave and smooth already um, and very elegant laid out. Um, I wonder how their voices are going to translate on this together. This is again my first time seeing a subunit of twice. So I Being a group that big you're used to that uh, a whole bunch of voices And so seeing just three of them together is gonna be a whole new experience for me So let's let's get into it before we get into the video Make sure you all like comment subscribe turn your post notifications on got a lot of stuff coming your way and uh, Yeah, Misa Mo, but do not touch Mmm, mm, that that first note. Come on, Sana. I, I've said this before. Sana is a very underrated member of Twice, and when I say underrated, I mean I feel like her visual gets talked about so much, um, personality and stuff. But like her, she really has a lot of factors about her. She she that voice right there. I wasn't expecting that out the gate from her like that. That little tone right there, and then the dance practices, she goes hard. Her dancing doesn't get enough credit. We literally were two seconds into the song, and that note was fire. Mm. Okay. Was that a back? Was that her back? Was that her back? Mina had, is this, this is not Mina. This is Sharon. This is Sharon. Respectfully go back. This is not, this is, what happened to Mina lately? What happened to Mina lately? Because I feel like Sharon has, is like, Mina is Spider-Man, Sharon is Venom. And Sharon has just taken over and we have not seen Mina for a while. We haven't seen it. Since the tour, I don't think we've seen Mina for quite a while, y'all. She's in her, she's in a whole nother bag. Ooh, she look good. This fits her voice. Okay, Momo. The wet hair on Momo? Okay, let me sit up. Let me sit up. Because these three are going to... These looks are sickening. With the veil, these looks right here are sickening. Sickening. With the circular veil, that's insane. With the white background, insane. Insane. <sighs> Mina, 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 come on. Bro, bro. A shot. That is a shot. Oh my God. A shot. Bro. Early, early thoughts, man. I, the vocals, I like how they're using their voices. I do like Momo's, like, rap at the beginning i do kind of wish they let her sing in that tone could be me could just be me um 
on a first listen type of thing, but I wish they kind of let Momo put a little bit more of that deepness in into her voice um, that I feel like she has. But right now, they're all eating looks. The choreography with her and Sana, um, that duo uh, scene, Momo and Sana, fire. Like I said, Sana doesn't get her credit. Um, you know, Momo's a monster dancer, one of the best in the industry, but Sana doesn't get enough credit. And Mina... Um, doesn't get enough credit. She's a main dancer in Twice. I think a lot of people forget that as well. So, yeah, they they they're eating. Even like that, like that, those tones. I like that for Momo. I like when she throws that little husk in there. Sana looks like a Disney mermaid. She looks like a Disney mermaid with that wavy hair. K-pop girls and wavy hair. Bro. Why is she... Why? Why? Why Sana? See, and G Gio is one of my alts, but this type of video is the thing that I have me like rethinking the entire trajectory of my K-pop bias list. The entire trajectory. Because all three of them are knocking on the door very aggressively right now. Very aggressively. She didn't have to look at us like that. She sounds great. Bro, these looks. I'm shook. I ain't gonna lie. Who's that in the background with that little ooh? Disrespect. The disrespectfully. Let's go back. These three. Twice has been on a grown mission lately. And... Watching respectfully. Wow. Wow. Yes. That was, that was, that was, that was what we needed. That was what we needed right there. That was what we needed. So that was Misa Mo with uh, Do Not Touch. That was exactly what we needed. I think especially in K-pop, there is a void right now in like grown and sexy concepts for adult uh, female idols, especially. Um, and I think that that right there was classy. It was elegant and, it, and, they, and they got the message across in such a such a clean and smooth way. Um, the styling was chef's kiss. They all looked amazing. Again, I don't know where Mina has been, but it's been Sharon for the last four months. <laughs> it's been Sharon. Um, you know, Sana, I, she's just like the ultimate bias wrecker situation. Like, it doesn't matter what your, where your loyalties lie. Sana is always knocking at the door. Again, I notice her a lot in the dance practices. So I can't wait for the dance practice of this to come out because I know she's going to be eating. Um... And then, you know, like I said, Momo, um, as the song went on, I like how they used her voice. Again, I do think at some points, I wish they let her throw a little bit more tone in there. But I think that her voice 
added a difference from Sana and Mina. Um, Sana's and Mina's were kind of on the same similar wavelength, um, and then Momo's was kind of a little different, which I liked. Um, and I liked a lot of times they had Momo on the back ad libs and stuff like that. It just added a different texture. Um, this was this was very well done. Um, they used the strengths of all three of them. Like I said, I want to see the dance practice so bad. I, I, I'm adamant that Twice does not get enough credit. I think that just because their choreography is more, I don't even want to say cute, but it's more like iconic moments and stuff like that rather than just straight hard choreography, like hard, intense choreography. But in terms of group choreography um, and like precision and formation and stuff like that, Twice is like one of those groups where they're in a class of their own like even like if you've ever watched the cry for me performance video i have a reaction for that go check it out if you haven't that is next level you know what i'm saying or like uh more and more those types of things um their group choreography is next level and so i like seeing smaller groups because like a smaller unit of them sample size because their choreography doesn't have to be as exquisite to get the point across because you can constantly see who you're looking at there's only three members but yeah they all carried their weight they all did their thing i think that it might have fit mina the most here um but it everyone literally did their thing and i love this grown era that twice is going for i think misa mo uh would have a hell of a trio career like now nah, i love twice as a whole 100 percent but I do think that they would have in this like grown, classy, elegant concept. I think they would serve. I think they would serve a nice career. This was very nice. So before you all go, make sure you all like, comment, subscribe to your post notifications on. Got a lot of stuff coming your way. And uh, yeah, till next time.